hello friends and welcome to my channel again today we are going to be making this beautiful sugar crown sitting pretty on this birthday cake it is super easy to make so stay with me and make sure you watch the end as we do it <music> To make this sugar crown, the first thing you want to make is a template. You need to create a template template for your crown. You can draw it just like the way I'm about to do or you can just go to Google and download a template that you want to recreate. So I just wanted a very simple crown so I'm just drawing something that looks like a crown and I'll be using that as my template. And as you can see, I have a, a 6 inch pan on my table with a board i'm going to be using this as my support you know the crown is round and you need something to keep it standing okay so we are going to be using that so on my table i have my pastillage i have a video for the pastillage if you don't know how to make it then you should just check that video out on how to make your pastillage pastillage dries hard okay so you need pastillage So all I'm going to be doing now is placing my template on my pastillage and I'm going to be cutting it out. You can use a pizza cutter or you can use a knife, you can even use a blade, okay? But you need something sharp and something that will give you precise cuts. So while you are here, if this is your first time of being on my channel and you love what you're seeing or maybe you are not too sure of what we are all about we love to work with fondant we love to work with wafer paper we love to work with cake recipes we just love cake in it so look below and please click the subscribe button and do not forget to also click the notification bell so that you know when we post awesome videos like this and while you are here don't forget to give us a thumbs up so that YouTube can show this video to other people like you too all right so I'm just using some shortening on my pastillage or on my cut stencil so that I can place the paper on it and then use it to wrap around that pan that you saw I'm also going to be applying some shortening around my pan okay this is to prevent it from sticking to the body of the pan okay make sure that your pan is well washed and dried so that you can use it So I'm applying some royal icing to the body of my crown just to give it a, a rough look because I didn't want the body of the crown to be smooth. Okay, so I allowed my crown to air dry on its own for almost 24 hours before I did this. You cannot do this immediately because it's, been, it's going to be too heavy and it's going to pull your crown off the body of your round pan. So make sure you allow it to uh, dry or if you have a hot cupboard, you can put it inside your hot cupboard. After putting the royal icing, I'm going to be letting it to dry and then I'm going to be moving over to the next step which is putting some molds that I made, some molds on top of the crown which I made for my Wilton mold, okay? It's a Wilton mold, uh, it's, I don't know what's the name though but it has a bead and it has some things that, it, I think it's called the flower mold or something like that, okay? so. I'm going to be putting that so you can see that I'm putting the beads at the bottom of the crown and then I'm going to be using the other parts just to decorate go around the edges of the crown and then I'm going to let it sit again to dry a bit before I go to the next level of the crown. 
I'm using edible glue to glue these molds to the crown. Edible glue is just CMC and water, okay? It's nothing too serious. It's just a name that sounds very serious, okay? So that's how. And if you don't know how to use a mold, I'm going to make a short video on that so that you see how to use a mold, okay? So while we are here, if you like to take online classes with me i have online classes that i take i have classes for beginners i have cake decorating classes i have cake baking classes and also wafer paper make a uh, make wafer paper flower classes you can click on the link below to get to where you would see what our classes are all about It's time to move our crown to the next level. So I mixed edible gold dust with edible gold spirit and I am painting my crown. Every part that is white is being painted. As you can see, the gold dust is helping us to highlight every detail on the body of the crown. That is what gold dust does. It makes it more pronounced, more beautiful and what have you. If you know me, I'm sure you can say that I love gold dust, okay? I like it shiny and after all a crown must be shiny thank you so much for watching up to this level if you haven't subscribed please look below click the subscribe button give us a thumbs up so that YouTube can show this video to other people and when you try it please don't forget to tag us we would like to hear from you thank you so much love you all